All right, smallmouth guys. We got doubles here. Oh, mine fell off right at the edge. Man, we're using the same lure today, guys. Jointed rapals, except hers is red and mine's orange. Yep, mine fell off right at the dang bank, or right at the canoe, I mean. Good job, honey. All right, we got first blood, guys. About a about an 11 inch small. 11, 12 inch small mouth. This zoom sticks. Once you hit it, it just keeps turning. Hold it up for us. Just for a second. Nice. Yeah, it's a start. We're on them, guys. Hopefully it's start to a good day. Okay. I lost, I lost mine right at the canoe. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, he's 13 anyway. This stupid rope is hooked in my shoe. Now that's a nice one there, yeah. <laughs> Let me zoom in on you, hold it up for us. I don't like this zoom anymore, it's stuck. Once you hit zoom, it just keeps zooming until you stop it. All right guys, on the red Rapala jointed again. She's got two to my none, mine first one fell off. I was getting ready to cast again, she already had another fish. Probably it's 13 inches. Yeah, about 13. Okay. Man. Why do I have to? There we go. All right. Fish on, guys. I don't feel too bad. The big goggle eye. Yes. The kind we're after. Oh, ho, ho. he's about a nine, isn't he? I'm going to. Guys, I finally got the fish I've been after all year. I keep catching four and five inch goggle eyes and never get a big one. I finally got a good nine inch is my guess. He's a he's a full nine. Gosh, I knew he was kind of fighting weird, not like a small mount. Guys, now that is a goggle eye. Wowzers. We finally did it. And on a lure, not a worm. What a shadow bass that is, guys. Wow. I'm so happy now. And it didn't even take long. We've just been here an hour. That is what I've been after all spring or since May. And it was too flooded for a month. And then I've had bad luck since then. My goodness. We're gonna measure this guy just to see. But I'm gonna say he's nine. I'll just have to paddle back over. I gotta change my battery after this anyway. Nine, exactly nine. That's what I love. I l I'd rather catch these nine inch goggle eyes than small mouth. That's how much I like them. They're just a cool fish. We're gonna get him back in guys because we're getting stuck down here. <laughs> I know. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. All right, we got a bald eagle above us here guys. Yep, sure is. <sighs> yep. The other two ain't. But he is. Oh!
Big one, really big. Whoa, do you see that? Whoa, oh my gosh. Oh, he's a 15, isn't he? Oh, he's swallowed that. I can't even see the end of the grub. Oh yes, he's staying on. Whew, finally guys. I just missed two smallmouth in the last five minutes. Talk about bad luck, because I'm using a single hook. But this guy inhaled this thing to where I can't even see the jig head. Oh, honey. What do you think, 15? Huh? Look at that. Look how far down it is. You can't even see it. Oh my gosh. I caught him in the middle instead of by on the bank. <clears throat> wow, guys, check out this smallmouth. Now that's what I came for right there. And I got my nine inch goggle eye. Whoo! Here. I caught one on that last time, the one you're putting on right now. Here you go. Now that's a nice one. Thank God he stayed on. Now we had a good trip. We each got a nice goggle eye, about three good smallmouth each. Mr. Twister, white. The zoom gets stuck is the problem. Once you turn it, it keeps turning. Bad guy. Have you gotten a good video of it? Or does it keep messing up the zoom? Huh? That's enough. Huh? Yeah, enough. Okay, we're gonna get her back in, guys. Guys, that's what I'm after right there. What a beauty. Yeah, I'll take that all day. All right, go get bigger. Oh, cool. Horny head. All right, new species, guys. Actually, that's a regular creek chub, not a horny head. It's a creek chub. This is right here, is exactly what you want for walleye in the winter time. Look at that, just like that. That's what you want. Minnow's about that long for them big walleye. All right guys, a creek chub, new species, that's five kinds. And they are hard to hold. I <laughs> can't even do it. I'll just hold it, cup him in my hand. Cool little guy. Just basically just a minnow. Common creek chub there, guys. All right. Slimy thing, God.
<laughs> four, four. Oh, a different one, striped shiner. All right, we got five species of fish now, guys. I think maybe six. Striped shiner, and talk about good bait. If he was a little smaller, he would get a big small mouth or goggle eye. He's just a little too big to use. That's what that is, striped shiner. I think this is the very beginning of the first long hole. The first long hole. It's the one where I got out and stand on the rock, but I'm not gonna do that this time. Uh, that probably did have a fish or two, but we can't, yep, this is the big rock up there. That's the beginning of the first long hole. There's a little, little river otter swimming right by in front of us here, muskrat. There she goes. Didn't get a very good long view, but. She didn't even pay us no mind. <laughs> Mistake. And it's a little bitty large mouth. About eight inches. Pretty small. But it's a fish. It is officially the evening bite, so I just changed my battery and it's time to fish, fish, fish for a little, a good hour and a half and then we gotta hightail it back. What the hell? Oh, I got something big. Oh my God, it's a gar. Oh, no, that was a pickerel. I've never caught a pickerel down this far. Oh man. Guys, I just missed a nice pickerel. Goodness gracious, that would have been, that would have made my day. That would have made my day for sure. I thought it was a gar. I forgot all about pickerel being in here. So they're down this far too, just not many of them. Maybe this. Looks like a crawdad, right? Try that. Looks just like a crawdad. I think that's what it's supposed to be. Pretty sure. Oh, Wilma's got something nice here. Mm-hmm. On that little grub? On that little grub? What is it? What is that? Really? Bring him back here. Yes, oh my God, that's big for this river. Don't, oh, be careful. Don't grab the line, don't grab the line. Do not grab the bottom jaw, jaw or that. Oh my gosh. That's the biggest largemouth I've seen out of this river, without a doubt. Man, I'm using the wrong lure, obviously. Hold that up for us, hon, please. With the, just, yeah, sideways. Guys, she just caught an easy three pound largemouth out of this stream, the biggest one I've ever seen caught out of it. Can you turn, I guess, or, I don't know, it's a bad view. Gosh, that's nice. <laughs> well, yep, I was whipping you, but I don't know about now. I was kind of beating her, guys, but maybe not anymore. You're gonna have to turn around, it just looks silly. Yeah, just do like that. God, that's big. That is a big, large mouth. Okay, hold it sideways one more time. And then just turn your arm to where it's facing me the right way. It's crooked. Turn its tail out like where it's even. Okay, now shove its tail toward me a little more. There you go. Man, that's nice. Goodness, you lucky dog. Now hold it straight up and down one more time, just by the mouth or like that. 
Wowzers. Yeah. Gosh. Man. He's easily three pounds. That lure always works for something, doesn't it? Here. Nice largemouth, guys. Easily three pounds. Good for an Ozark stream anyway. They're actually uncommon down here in this area. It's almost all smallmouth. Nice bass. There we go. Now we had a good day, didn't we? My oh, goodness. That's a hoss. <laughs> yeah. You always get something. To outdo me. I caught the nice goggle eye and the nice smallmouth, though. I would have had a pickerel. Almost. But this is about where they start. That's what pecked at me then. That's a good sign this lure should work. Got one? Wilma's on another one, boy. She's these grubs she buys, guys. They just outproduce everything. She's got something nice. Oh my! What do you have? What the heck is it, boy? We're on them now, guys. Should I anchor here? Small them out. Yep. Hold on, I'm anchoring. I don't want to pass this up. At least for a few minutes. I'm gonna say I'm gonna sacrifice the root wad today. We'll fish this in the rapid and then that's it. Alright guys, she just got a another fish. This time a small mouth. Wanna bring it up or I hope that anchor catches. It should. Yeah, we're fine. It's not bad, 12 incher. Man, them grubs are awesome. They catch everything. My goodness, let me film you. Okay, turn around. All right, guys, you just got a 12 inch. Just hold it just like you're doing. 12 inch smallmouth on those fire tail grubs again. My goodness, she always gets something on them things. Gosh, every time. Well, looks like there might be an evening bite, huh? This is a real good looking spot right here. I'm anchored. Oh, oh yeah, anchor over there, huh? Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, you thought you was jumping off. Don't jump. Quit jumping. Finally, guys, I got something for the first real fish in about three hours. Oh, man. You're hung. You're going to have to break it because we can't scare these fish more than we already have. All right, guys, I got about a 13-inch smallie on the missile shockwave chartreuse and white. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. Jig head. You don't have any? I think you're going to have to film me. I can't hold it right. Then I'll get you a jig head. 
All right, guys, 12 inch small mouth. Not bad. All right. Now we had a good day. <clears throat> it's got to be what it is. Oh, yeah. In the current, man. It's strong, whatever this is. I don't know. I, it's fighting like a walleye. I'm serious. It's not a bass. I think it's a walleye. If it's not, it's a drum. Walleye on the bomb bandit. Oh my God, it's big, Wilma. Oh my gosh. On the bandit crawdad. 200, guys. Oh, he's an 18 or, no, he's about 19 or 20 inches. This is my biggest one in a long time. Oh my gosh. I like this crankbait. I think I like this crankbait. <laughs> Woo. Oh, my biggest walleye in a while, guys. And a total surprise at that. That is so awesome. Fishing for goggle eye, catch a walleye. I got him on a Bandit 200 that looks kind of like a crawdad. Tighten your drag as tight as you can. Put your elbow in it or something. Can you just push the button for right now and just push the button for right now and let it set? Here. Make sure you do this right and I got to change the battery after the walleye. You want to keep this or no? I keep that. Okay, we'll throw it in the cooler. <clears throat> I'm going to measure it, but I'm going to say he's 20, 21. We've got to get a good, I can only hold it like this now. That's the only way. I'm going to try to hide my fingers. And keep him over the canoe where he can't fall in. Oh, <laughs> God. Just do it good for about 30 seconds and we gotta hurry. So he don't flop in. He's gonna flop here in a minute, so let's get him while it thins up too. Nice surprise, guys. Really nice surprise. I'm, I'm happy now. If I would've just got that pickerel earlier, we would've had a complete buffet of this river. We've caught in almost everything and it's supposed to be poor. But we got the evening bite going on. I've been saying at least four or five times a day, it'd be nice to get a walleye on accident. It'd be nice to get a walleye on accident. Finally, on a crankbait that is not normally for them, he hit it off kind of a bass lure. But I ain't gonna question it. Did you get a good fit? Do you think it was? Did it take up like the whole screen? Yeah. Pretty good. Okay, put him in the cooler. Oh, I want to measure this thing real quick. Real quick. I think we should measure it. It's up to you. Seventeen. That's it. Sure seems bigger than that. Okay, open the cooler. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, wait. Get All right, guys, we're actually going to keep this walleye. It's a good eater right there. It's going to be dinner for tonight or tomorrow. Wowzers. That is so cool. He only measured 17. He sure seemed bigger than that to me, though. But he's only 17. We can't, oh, we can't keep it. They gotta be 18 in the 11 point. I'm serious, they have to be 18. He's an inch too small. 
So I gotta put him back. Black River, they can be 15. But the current in 11 point, they have to be 18 inches. So I'm serious. He's only 17, so we're gonna let him go, guys. All right. We'll have the picture for memories. My gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh my. That we shouldn't catch a fish right here, I'm telling you. There could even be another walleye sitting in this. Already got one. Mm. Oh. Oh, man. Wow. Told you they'd be here. <laughs> All right, Wilman just caught a, another smallmouth on a fire tiger, fire tiger flicker shad with a bright red tail. Not your average fire tiger color, a little different. Good job. I told you we'd catch fish right here. They love to see they're in the current. They're relating the current this time of the year. That's why we didn't get them in that one spot. Hold it up for us. Well, I mean by the lure or something, by the lip. Yeah, grab grab by the lip of the fish. He won't hurt, you won't get hooked. Then I gotta change my battery one more time. You can get that. There you go. Oh yeah, told you I'd get one nice one. Every time, big small mouth. I knew it, right where I knew he would be. Same spot as the last time. Yes, this lure is awesome guys, loving it. Crawdad pattern, Bandit 200. Awesome lure, I like that orange tangerine bottom. Not a bad smallmouth, pretty decent. Not huge, but fair. Now, I might be able to do this. Watch this. I pull it down real hard. Watch this. Like that. It's a walleye again. No. Boy, it had me fooled. All right, guys. Another nice one. As soon as I, I cast it above these rapids and just jerked it down as hard as I could to get it bouncing off that bottom. And he was waiting for it. As soon as it hit the actual hole, I had that one. I knew that that was gonna work. It always does one time, every time I'm here. All right, that's a good 13 incher here. Well, we know what the lure of the day was. You ain't got one of these guys that works wonders in clear water. Bandit 200 crawdad looking thing. Amazing. <clears throat> really? <clears throat> hey! Hey you! <laughs> 